Hi, and welcome to episode 46 of the Antifonary Walkthrough. This is the Verso of Folio 22. These are the last stages of Matins. As we have seen in the previous movie, we are at the end of the famous responsory Verbum Caro Factum Est. We have seen an altered Gloria Patri. And actually, this is the original Gloria Patri verse, which has a rubric Dominica Infra Octava, so the Sunday within the week after Christmas. This verse should be sung, and it's a special verse since it has an extended doxology. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper. This is the plenum gratiae, so the repetendum or the indication of the repetendum to be found at the previous page, but it has been altered over there, so you will not find the plenum there. Last responsory to be sung in the Matins of Christmas, which has the rubric in Navi Ecclesiae, to be sung in the middle of the church, in the ship Navi of the church. Special responsory, quite long again, with two indications of repetenda, and in its first tamque sponsus, this wonderful <laughs> so a quite normal C major scale. And it returns in the other verse, the Gloria Patri, again, exactly the same thing. And then to conclude the page, the laudes, so the lords, start here with uh, the indication that uh, if you need some antiphons per horas, so in the so-called little hours, you might want to use one of these antiphons. This is traditionally always the first antiphon of lords of Christmas, the quem vidistis. So it actually surprises me a little bit that this has been altered probably in the 16th century into a new writing of melody and text whereas normally text and music would have been like this it has it is like this in almost any source that you can find this is for instance a close to neuburg uh, manuscript from the from around 1100 the quem vidistis pastores which is almost exactly the same except for for instance in coro here where it has et coros over here and one extra word intersected the collaudantes so i'm a little bit puzzled about this if anyone has any idea why this has been rewritten although first um, antiphon of lords would be always this quem vidistis in exactly this melody well you're welcome to help me out i can also show you a paris breviary from the 1200s this is the quem vidistis um, at the end of matins of christmas normally the liber generationis would have been sung which is this one after the liber generationis as is stated here sequitur te deum with all the endings appropriate to matins then maybe in this case missa so the mass would have been said and then after that sequent laudes the morning prayers start with this famous quem viristis anyway maybe this is all complicating things too much anyway we have seen the page ending with the start of lords the first and second antiphon of lords next movie will feature the continuation of lords of christmas thanks for listening keep watching <laughs>